How I miss the expanded universe. Hello there. Only one Kenobi here, only one. I'm just showing you what's going on with the weather out there. It's December and here we are. I thought I'd bring these in from the carded room because I'm going to be talking about opening Mara Jade. Finally have Mara Jade and I got it for a re her for a really good price. I can't talk about Mara Jade without getting another guy into the picture. And that would be Plagueis. Yeah, so <clears throat> said for a few weeks now, well, actually a few years, I've, I've always said about the fact that, you know, it, what a shame it was that we didn't get Mara Jade in the, uh, in the vintage collection. She should have been. Let me just uh, get her out of here. So this got delivered just now. It's a slight delay on this getting here, but wow, I'm opening this. And I want to review it properly before I do that. You know, for all I've, you know, I've done a lot of moaning about the orange card. I do like the design and the packaging. So it's not the fact that I don't like the packaging, because a lot of people don't like this packaging. They say it's boring or something. But oh, I think it's supposed to just be, you know, contemporary and sleek, plain black with the. Oh, I love that orange, the bright, vibrant orange, and then you know, the figure inside. It really showcases the figure, if anything. But my issue has always been that a lot of the figures that were in this should have been in the line behind you. The vintage collection. But specifically, Mara and Plagueis would have been great on their own vintage card. You know, there's only seven in that line. There should have been at least nine. Her uh, and Plagueis and then obviously others as well. But these two are definites. Great looking figure. So I want to put a little challenge out there as well to a customizer I know, Lee. If you're watching Lee from Tatooine Customs, my challenge is, can you make a custom card back for Mara Jade? And I'll send you these two figures and maybe we can think about putting them on the cards they should have been. Right, so let's give you another good look at this package in here, the figure inside. Purple lightsaber, brilliant. Yeah. Just like Mace Windu, Revan, and also Darth Bane rocks a purple one as well. So the good thing about opening this is it's going to come off like a, a dream because the expanded universe, sorry, the orange card, the orange card line was notorious for having bad glue on it. And they never obviously learned that lesson for the first part of the vintage collection. In 2015, they had similar problems. Right, I think I'm going to get her open. Look at that lightsaber, you've got the hilt there, the blaster. She's quite interesting. I've learned a little bit about her. She was an assassin for the Empire, of all things. like Almost like the Emperor's right-hand girl. So along the lines of, you know, you, you're talking Asajj Ventress meets Shay Vizsla. <laughs> I don't know. She kind of looks like her. She's feisty, probably. I can imagine she's... She's got Sith, I guess, but she's... Uh... She's come from there, so this makes you wonder the offspring of Luke, what they've been like. And if you're going to go by the original trilogy, the sequel trilogy that we got, you won't know. That was never, never told. But maybe they'll talk about that in Mando, the Thrawn era. They get into that. Maybe we'll learn some more. There's the back. I can see the figure in the tray before I take her out. And she's great, isn't she? See, there's always been strong females in Star Wars. Great, huh? I'm just taking my time with this one because I just want to enjoy it in its packaging. It's nice to open a figure mint. I know for a fact, Michael, I know you're watching. He would not go near a figure loose. <laughs> he hates that. He has to open something. But I don't mind. Sometimes when you buy and you can tell it's come from an adult collector. Uh, and someone's looked after it nicely. There's not a problem. But, oh, I always hate this. Having to bend the saber to get it out. Easy. Oh, I've done it. No problem. Just get you out of there, honey. There you go. She fell. She was quite clumsy. But she fell then. Let's get her on here. Drink. Oh, that's a good play hole. Good enough. So the blaster I'm going to put in here 
oh my god, just imagine her stood next to Luke. It's only just clicked the fact that she's wearing black. If you put her next to Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi. Similar texture Luke has. Quite like her just having a hilt. Do you know what I'm really tempted to do? You could have the hilt on her belt and a lightsaber lit, but that would suggest she has two sabers, which they don't, do they? They give you a hilt lit and unlit because you're supposed to display one or the other. I'm really tempted to give that saber to, um... Who else do I need? Revan. My Revan has got a crap purple saber. Let me show you. My Revan has got this purple saber here, which I think came from a Sassetin figure. I think it did. Crap, look at it. Whereas I think it would look good holding that, but that's just, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going. That's something for me to worry about in the fullness of time. Imagine that on an expanded universe card. Right, let's get focused in on Mara. And you know what, I'm just gonna put the saber in her hand. She's just a good figure. The head makes it hard. The hair makes it hard. The hair makes it hard to articulate the head. But uh, she's got loads of articulation. Ball joints everywhere. Swivel on the wrist. Elbows, shoulders all ball jointed. There is a ball joint on the uh, ankles, knees, swivel, hips. There is a crunch on the chest oh, it looks well disguised this is a great figure it's gonna get her standing stretch it out i'm gonna go get luke you know where are you luke come and help us there we go i used to have an expanded universe shelf i've had to disband it recently but um break it up but i've got a few Expanded universe figures scattered around. I'd love to have these two somewhere. Like I've got my Starkiller usually stands amongst the Imperials, like because he was part of the Empire Starkiller. Or oh, Galen Ursa. <laughs> Galen Merrick. It's so confusing, isn't it? You've got Antok Merrick and Galen Ursa, and then you've got Galen Merrick, Starkiller. But then here we have Mara Jade and, and Luke Skywalker. Let's get these out of the way. I'm going to talk in a separate video, I think, because this is a review of Mara. I'll talk about the customizations and EU card backs. They would be like something that would pique my interest at this point in my uh, life, because a lot of the stuff that we are predicting and speculating, they're giving us. But one thing that is for damn sure is they will never give you any more EU card backs. And if, they, if they did, I'd be pleasantly surprised and I would, uh, I would be uh, extremely pleased if they did. So I'm just enjoying looking at this figure. I do usually, I do have a little rotator thing. If I go up here, can you see it there? Look at that. If I zoom in and have a look at that. Can you see there? That uh, probot is rotating. Usually when I do figure reviews, especially the quick shots. Um, yeah, you'll, uh, I'll put my figures on that. But just for this video, it's, it's too late now. I've, I've done the video. <laughs> I've done it. So um, yeah, next time I will. Yep, there you go. That's not the end of it. I'm going to talk about Mara again and also Darth Plagueis the Wise because there's lots to talk about these characters and I like the EU. The expanded universe is awesome. A nice, colourful array of, of interesting characters. Right, awesome. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm just trying to figure out what this hole is on the back there. Is that somewhere else she can put her sabre? See that there? Let me just check. It looks too wide. What is that hole? Now that ain't nothing other than, I don't know what that is, but still, if you know, let me know. And let me know if you've got this figure. This figure cost me, a, it was decent. I got it for 25 pounds, including postage. What a bargain. You just, I don't know what compelled me to look her up, but I did and found her and watched her. I was uh, maybe one of the only two people bid in and I won it. I think I'll put quite a high maximum bid on anyway, so <laughs> I was prepared to pay up to it about 35, 40 pounds for this because she's so rare and, uh, you know, I'd like to see her in the vintage collection, but it would only be on a Star Wars card. It would never be expanded universe that I know of. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, do subscribe. Thank you indeed again. Uh, 
check out the playlists for other videos and material on the channel. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>